Okay, we're going back to the yellow cardstock scraps and we are going to use, we're going to create something very similar to what we just created, only we're gonna use the larger flower this time and we are gonna punch out six of these. So one, two, five, and I'm not gonna be able to get a six. So I do have a bigger piece, but I always like to start with my smaller scraps and work my way to the larger ones just to give myself the most options. So we will cut a sixth one out of here and again I will try and preserve the length as much as possible so for options. Okay so I did pull out my big shot and I thought it would be kind of fun to add some design to these because these are just plain cardstock. I'm going to use the finial press and what we are going to do is we are going to just lay these inside like so. And this is just going to give just a little bit of texture. Really, I mean, at the end of the day, you don't have to do this if you don't want to, but I thought it would be kind of fun to switch things up a little bit. So you can see how they now have a little bit of texture on them. Again, it's just to switch things up because they are plain cardstock. If you're using a pattern cardstock, you may want to um, not do this. It just depends on how busy of a pattern you have. Okay, and we'll just run the last two through. So the reason why I'm doing six is because we are going to do exactly the same technique we did on the last one where we're layering two flowers up. And so that will give us a grouping of three. Three is usually a good number when making embellishments and I know you're probably saying but Melanie you only made two of the last ones and that is true um, because something like the last one to me is a special piece of embellishment and you can get away with just using one on a layout whereas something like what we're creating with these are more um, a repetitive embellishment so three is nice okay we're going to take our glue we're going to do the exact same thing is we're just going to layer these up and stagger them. So just stagger them like so. And if you want to flip the petals up and around, that's fine. They'll probably get squished. Okay, we're gonna do this again with the next one. Again, we have, we're making a three. Okay, we're going to take our bigger leaf punch and we are actually only going to use these three top ones. We do not need the full gamut. And we're going to start with the scraps again to see what we can get out of here. Again, we're focusing on three. So just like that. And we need three of these. I think that's all we're going to be able to get out of that. And we have one more smaller piece of green. We now need a three quarter punch and a half inch punch. And what we are going to do now is from the bronze or copper, we're gonna cut out three of these in the three quarter. And three, I don't see any smaller champagne pieces. So we're gonna cut out three from here. And three. Take out the adhesive glue or the glue and we're basically gonna put a dot in each of the bronze and add the quarter inch or the half inch circle on top of that. If it's not precisely in the middle, that's okay. I think it actually looks better if it's a little bit askew, but you make that decision for yourself. We are then gonna take some pop dots and we are going to place those in the middle of each of these. And then we're going to affix these on top of that. Okay, the next step is to add the leaves. So we're just going to add a little bit of adhesive on the stem. And we're just going to kind of tuck these behind like so. And I think these call for some rhinestones as well. And I think for these ones, I want to use this light yellow. We'll use three of those. And I'm just going to put a dot 
on each one of these. They do not have to be in the same spot. Just wherever you feel like it. And that's what these little sunflowers look like. I think they're cute. And I think the embossing just adds a little bit of something to them. Let's move on to the next.